adjust your TV set. Welcome to the blue turf of Bronco Stadium. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out out of the field for the first drive of the game. He's got it out to his tight end. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked the perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. to the 34. He's tackled at the 29 yard line. First down there on a five yard pass. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. It's first and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. He's taken down at about the 15-yard line. sack on the play. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 21. And down he goes around the 18-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Boise State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Brought down at the 20. The Cougars' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 17. Quick pass. Tackle made right around the 22 yard line. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. It's a bad play overall by the offense. 
quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And down he goes at the 46. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Boise State is up by three. And two. Orange State. He's brought down in the open field. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He makes his way out to about the 35. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play action pass. Second down now, they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they make the stop around the 24-yard line. They picked a good time to go with that call. It didn't seem like the defense was ready for it. They'll move the chains. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Around the 15 yard line. That brings up second and one. From the 15 yard line. Second down. to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So that's a six-play, 55-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. He's out to the 30. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Boise State's loving this crowd support, and they week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue. That. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. There's a strike complete. Brought down at the 45. Number 10 on the tackle at the 45 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Throws it in a hurry, and he tackles him hard at the 43. Makes the reception. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Quickly, and he's got his man, and he's level at the 35-yard line. A gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. They'll bring him down at the 24. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out quickly. And he's tackled at the 16. We're through one quarter. The Broncos with a 10-point lead.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Nice run, and he's brought down. He fights forward to about the seven. He'll keep it on the ground again. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Across the middle. Touchdown, Cougars. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try to point after. And he hits the PAT. So a 10 play, 63 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Washington State to kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Boise State holds a field goal lead. Tosses left. He makes his way to about the 38. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he just gets rid of it. He's tackling at the 44. Second down, five to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Makes it out to about the 30. State is up a field goal. Quick strike to the receiver. Big play, and it's first and goal. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. He's taken down around the three-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. They put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, Broncos. And 
And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Quick throw. That's a great tackle. It's the 36-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. Let's go. First down. at the 38. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And down he goes at about the 41. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. He airs it out. Missed him. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Second and 10. Ball on the 41. Was complete and he stopped immediately. He gets rid of this one. Throw, and he's got his man again. Tackle made right around the 24-yard line. Number 10 on the tackle at the 24-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. This is a well-designed play by the offensive coordinator. Everything really seemed to be working just fine, except for the quarterback. He's got to throw a better football. This is the ninth play of this drive. Got a man and it falls to the ground. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 24. Three yards there on the throw. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Almost intercepted there. Number 17 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. From their own 29-yard line. 
Second down. Boise State is up seven. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Boise State's going to take their first time out of the half. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. They've looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He steps up. He goes downtown. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. The Broncos with a touchdown lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He'll take it from the two. Makes it to the 22-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Number 13 on the tackle at the 29 yard line. That makes it second and two. Got a man, watch out here. And he's taken down around the 38 yard line. That's a good gain of nine yards. First and down. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 48-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the water. That'll make it second in inches. Come on. Caught with room to work. Number 27 makes the reception. Called a gain of 9 yards. First down. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start. Offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. First and 15 now after the penalty. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Touchdown, Washington State. Yeah. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. 
a five-play, 84-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Washington State's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Here they come. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Caught open field, and he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's at the 40. He's at the 30 for the 20. He's knocked out of bounds right around the six-yard line. He's at 100 yards rushing for the day. Here's a guy that just seems to really welcome the pressure and the big moment. This is a big-time game. It's a close game, and he continues to deliver for his football team. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Fires quickly. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And it takes some real action see on those deep quarter routes so kudos to the quarterback he splits the uprights with the extra point a nice five play 74 yard drive and they come away with seven points Brett I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow him down and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff caught at the eight They'll bring him down at the 27. Wow, close game here. Up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Under heavy pressure. He gets sacked on the play. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Complete. He's got room. He gets hit out of bounds at the 35. Gain of nine yards. That'll bring up third and two. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. Slings it. He's at midfield. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Brought down at the 36. 
Number 13 makes the tackle at the 36 yard line. That makes, that makes it first and 10. ten. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Number 32 brings him down at the 29 yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The cavalry's coming. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at about the 23 yard line. Number 37 makes the tackle at the 23 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Knocked out of bounds at the 11. Gain of 12 on the play. Strike over the middle. He's tackled at about the three yard line. Number 13 with the tackle at the three yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Fires quick after the receiver and he can't make the grab. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. The Cougars wide receiver, we hope, can make a comeback and get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. Touchdown, Cougars! There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. So a 12-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. Good game, 24-24. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. From their own 21 yard line. Second down. Tackled and producing pickup. That makes it zero to seven. First down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 38. So with one quarter remaining, we got a tie game here, not at 24. Welcome back to the action, fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They're about four yards away here on third down. Three down, 
Three down. Mike 51. Go. Mike 51. Toss plate. He's going to lose yardage. And you know it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Man can't tack on any yardage. That's good for him. He's Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made at the 38 yard line. And down he goes at the 25. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Gets it. He's in space. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Big opening. Makes it to the 41. Just under three to go in regulation. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second. second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 43. Complete brought down, nothing doing. He's at the 30 to the 20. He's all the way home. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. Washington State is lining up to kick this one off. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. The Broncos were really mistaken if they looked at this game as a gimmick. Well, they've been in a dogfight the entire ball game. Let's see what they can do with this final drive. They still have time here to be able to pull out and try to get a win. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. You know, you wonder about the mindset and the psyche of this football team after the turnover on the last possession. It's going to be interesting to see what they're really made out of here. This is an important possession for this offense.
from the 50. First down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Completes. It's the junior, and he's taken down at about the 27-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. And they make the stop at the three-yard line. So they get it out there for about three yards, and that's a first down. Good look there from the quarterback, dumping it off and coming away with a new set of downs. We have less than a minute to go. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Offense. And he tacks on the extra point. Late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. Boise State kicked this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. The worst thing that should happen for the offense now is that the game will go into overtime. If they can make a couple of plays, then maybe they'll pull it out in regulation. Get to that quickly. Right down the 47-yard line. First 
Caught and a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. Four yards on that play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. And a quick throw. And he's tackled at the 41. That last completion puts him over 300 yards passing in the game. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. Slings it left. Jarred loose. From the 41-yard line. Second down. This looks like their last shot to get it to the end zone. He lets it fly. It's caught. Touchdown, Washington State. Here's the call from the referee. Delayed, Delayed game, game. Offense. offense. Washington State is up by six. He splits the uprights with the extra point. If they field this kick, they'll have to bring it all the way back for a touchdown, or this one's over. He'll return it from the three. At the 30. And he shoved out of bounds to the 37-yard line. Washington State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.